Hey guys, Clyde here live at Leechburg Lights. I'm in the shop, or in the studio today, I should say. And uh, I, I've been getting a couple questions uh, recently, and I know I've gone through and talked some people through it, but I figured I'll throw up a video and show you guys how to take your x light sequence, or sequencing from x lights and export it into a file, or convert it into a file, that will be used for Lightorama. So, what I've got here, this is a x light sequence, 100% completely done in x lights, or uh, and uh, and we're going to go ahead and convert this into an LOR type .lms file. And to do this, so you can see we've got some sequencing in here and so forth, I'm just going to go ahead and close the sequence. This is, uh, um, where we go, we're going to close the sequence because I don't want the the, the program running while I do this. I'm going to go to the convert tab and I'm going to sh click on choose files. Now um, when you click on choose files uh, you're hopefully going to show up at your default location for where you store your nutcracker sequences and I'm going to change this drop down box from xlights the .xseq file down to the fseq file and this should bring up all of my sequences that are fseq files and I'm going to look for, let's see, straight node chaser right here, little Saint Nick. So I've selected the FSEQ file. Now I'm going to select my output format. And you can do this. This doesn't just go for uh, Lightorama. It also goes for, um, you can, you can uh, uh, go into uh, uh, the links. You can go into Vixen, Vixen 2.1. You can go into uh, Gladiator. Um, HLS, uh, and you can also export as a LOR clipboard file, which is an LCB file. Uh, but we're going to choose LOR sequences uh, .lms or .las. Uh, so once we uh, select that, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say uh, all channels off at the end, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave this all as defaults, and I'm going to click start the conversion. Now this can take some time, so I'll just go ahead and pause while we wait for this to go through. Okay, and um, and now you can see that we've uh, we finished writing the files to the LOR and we finished converting all files. Now from this point here we have to go in and I'm gonna open up a little file screen here. I don't know if it'll pop up. Yeah, there, there we go. We'll go right into my Dropbox which is the location and go into my Nutcracker folder and what we're going to look for is we're going to look for straight note chaser in a .lms format. So let's just scroll down here and look for and the letter L. There it is. LMS, Little St. Nick straight note chaser. So this is my actual file for LOR. If I double click on this, hopefully, hopefully LOR will recognize it right away and open it up for us in S4. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, we've got we've got the sequence loaded in here, so there's some sequencing data. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit and import my channel configuration, and it just popped up here, so I'll scroll down here, um, and I'm going to I'm going to use this uh, 2015 channel configuration that I created. Uh, at the beginning of last year for this year in LOR because I had totally planned to use Lightorama for the Christmas display. So as this is importing, I use that configuration. Whoops, I think I hope there we go. Uh, I use this entire configuration from X Lights and um, I used it to build my entire channel configuration over here. So it's actually one for one. The, uh, the nice thing about having the one for one is that I can create a sequence in X lights and as you can see here I'll move this out of the way as you can see here I can just reconvert it back from X lights into my LOR configuration file now uh, I, I'm not using that uh, like I said I'm not using a sluggish computer um, I do have everything in here is pretty darn quick um, you can see I have the, the here's the pixel peak star uh, some some items that I never intended to have in Lightorama I have in here now. This is the Eiffel Tower which I added very quickly after the attacks on Paris. Um, I added some pixel trees um, on the right hand side. Those were never intended to make it into the display. In fact, um, 
I had not really planned on any further expansion past uh, the the GECE window frames uh, and the the new Peak Star. These were all new, so anything down below there is not mapped out yet. This was my highest universe, which was sixty or uh, forty six. If I go back over here, you can see if I grab uh, X lights, that is. And if I go down here, I had never intended to go past 46 as a universe count, but I ended up doing that. Here's 44, 45, 46, uh, 47. Um, I don't remember what I what all I did here was 47, 51, 52, 53, 4, 5, 6. Those were the additional pixel trees that I added that I didn't plan on. So you can see things changed for me, but at the same token, I can always go in here into my X lights. Uh, into my uh, LOR uh, configuration and add those back in. Uh, that won't take any time whatsoever. So you can see, I, I even set up my little visualizer right here. Um, yes, I still use this old thing because the new visualizer doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I never updated the spinners because I made them. They're 96 pixels in a spinner now, and uh, these were only 5 pixels in each leg so that was only 40 these will be much bigger if I put the pixels in there but uh, that just gives you an idea of some of the uh, some of the uh, detail that I put into it in any event um, I wanted to show you guys uh, that you could now that we have our uh, overlay done with our organized channel counts you can see that if you do keep everything linear between Lightarama and your X lights program if you keep your channel configurations linear you can move one for one directly from X lights into uh, LOR and you can superimpose over top of it your exact channel configuration you could output this sequence in it and and it should run uh, though I did not test uh, X lights or uh, LOR this year as always, you can get in touch with me at www.leechburglights.com. That's the website. You can get a hold of me through Facebook on my show page at facebook.com forward slash leechburglights. And finally, you can always email me right here at leechburglights at gmail.com. Guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.